remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Documentarian Michael Moore believes that Donald Trump, your president, will be reelected to a second term, especially if the elections were held today instead of 2020. What say you? Do you believe this dude is going to be reelected? Here are some reasons that Michael Moore gave during a conversation with Amy Goodman for the news program, Democracy Now. By the way, I, liked, I really like that uh, program. Um, he said that he believes that the Democratic nominee will win the popular vote like Hillary did back in 2016. In fact, he says that he believes that even more people will come out to vote for the Democratic nominee. He believes that that number will swell to about four to five million popular votes over Donald Trump. But he says that he thinks Trump will win the electoral vote again because he says that the people who are voting for Trump are even more determined to see him get in office because now they're afraid that he'll lose because they've heard him talking. They've seen him doing all the stealing and the colluding and all of that stuff. They know he's corrupt, but they are afraid because they're on that train and they don't give a damn if the train crashes. They don't care what happens. They'd rather the whole country burn down than to have a new president. They want to be right. Now, I added a lot of this stuff, but that's basically what he was saying. He said, the problem is, if the vote were today, I believe he would win the electoral states he would need because living out there, I will tell you his level of support has not gone down one inch. In fact, I'd say even more rabid than before because they're afraid now. They're afraid he could lose because they watched his behavior. He said that the Democrats' responsibility is to not give the people another Hillary Clinton to vote for. I concur. The Democrats need someone who can excite women, black people specifically, and people of color, and young people. That's what the Democrats are going to need. They're going to need somebody like that. And they're going to need some independent investigators to make sure that Russia is not colluding with Donald Trump again, or vice versa. Or they got to make sure that Donald Trump is not colluding with some other foreign government or someone right here in the U.S. to steal the election. Because with all of that mumbo jumbo talk about electoral vote and all of that stuff and popular vote i still don't believe it would have made one bit of a difference because the dude stole the election it's just like when bush stole the election when they rigged it for florida remember when his brother jeb bush was governor and they rigged the votes in florida to give george bush the nomination same thing here same thing. They're going to need someone who is going to be a fighter. And once they get in, they cannot back down an inch. See, the problem with the Democrats to me is they too damn friendly. I know that we're all different people. We think differently. We're wired different. I understand. But I don't understand how we get wired that differently. It just seemed like to me, if somebody violates you, you must get justice. To me, I think that justice denied is the greatest travesty ever. And I think it's really 
the root of a lot of problems that we have right here in America and around the world. Justice denied. People feel like they're not getting justice. And so people tend to take the law into their own hands and people tend to act out. And since the law is not going to be equally applied, then they don't respect the law. Since the police ain't going to respect the people, the people don't respect the police. You know, it's a give and take. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a mutual thing. You know, it's a mutual relationship. If one side is given and the other side is taken, it's always taken. That's not going to work. It's like being in a business relationship. If you and I are in business together and I'm making money and you're not making money, then we're not going to be in business together too long. That's why anytime I do business with anybody, I'm always looking for the win-win. I'm always trying to make sure that they win too. There's been some situations that I've been in where I could have just taken the money and run, ran. I could have done a Donald Trump. I could have just been good with myself winning. But I wanted to make sure that the people that I was in business with won too because I play for the get back. I don't play for just right now. I play for get back. Like, let's get this money again. Let's get it again and again and again and again. That's the way I operate. But anyway, I think the Democrats are going to need a fighter, somebody who, that, who they feel that shares their uh, views and their values. It's an uphill battle. Who y'all think got it? I don't know. Let's see, said the blind man. No more talk. What, what, what the haters talking about?